me, we've just found the suitcase of evidence. Um, and now I assume we need to go hand it to one in the police force whom we trust, which I guess would be Brian, because he's the only one we're really friends with. What happened? King's dead. Let's go. Dead? Holy barnacle! What about the girl? She's not here. Well, that's good. Did you get my... stuff? No, but it doesn't matter anymore. King's dead. Oh, where to now, Bear? Take me back to the shore. Aye. Strange night, Bear. It's about to get stranger. Ooh. King passing away like that made me realize he was the only one of this sinister bunch to show me some integrity in the end. I have to give him some credit for that. Seems like an underwhelming end for the king of crime, if you ask me. Double-crossed and shot by the police, even more crooked than he was. I was relieved to hear the doll made it out okay, even though she's in Locke's hands now. With King gone, Mills acquired the rest of the PCPD forces to his side. The power of money has no equal, I guess. I know Locke. I served under him in the Great Pillow War of 38. He's competent, intelligent, disciplined, and the only man in this goddamn city that can actually follow up on his threats. I remember the day he was promoted to the chief of police. I thought he was a great choice. We all did. What a bunch of idealists we were. The years that followed took their toll on Locke. He was becoming more shady in his operations. Soon enough, it was impossible to distinguish his actions from the ones he was so rigorously condemning in his speeches. Now, he's nothing more than a common criminal. A dangerous one at that. With every threat I unravel, the outcome seems more bleak. Not only do I have to worry about a lunatic arsonist in the loose, now I have an entire goddamn police department to deal with. I can't get blindsided by all of this. I still have to find Amber. If what King told me holds any merit, seems logical, Locke would bring the doll back to the precinct for questioning, <laughs> just long enough for Red to conveniently find his way there. I have to get there fast, but that means I won't have any time to prepare my next move. It's time to find out if an old bear can still think on his feet. CBG has gone off the radar. I could really use his help right now. Things are finally starting to make some sense, and I use the term very loosely. Mills has gone insane out of fear. Both him and King thought they could use Red for their own gain. It was already too late when it dawned on them. He can't be reasoned with. Red kept on rampaging, and the only way to stop him is to deliver him the only thing he wants. I'm left wondering if Red really gets to Amber, what'll happen then? It feels like I'm running towards a cliff with a blindfold on. But if something happens to the doll in the meantime, will there be a bridge for me at the end? Will there be any bridges left at all? Oh, I like those montage boards. They quite cool. Let's see where in the town we need. Police station. That's where we are now. The other place. 
tiger in there. And then he goes, no way, my mom's name is Martha too. And then they're like best pals all of a sudden. Hmm, seems a bit contrived. Yeah, yeah, took me long enough, I know. I was just about to say. Mr. Bear, did you go to King's Island? I did, Binky, it's all gone. Uh, it's Brian, sir. What's Brian, sir? It's his name, Ted. What? What are you? Oh, Brian. Sure, I know that. What do you mean it's all gone? I heard there was a massive shootout there. You heard right, Sam. King's dead, and so are his men. That's huge, Bear. This will send a ripple through the entire city. Oh, I know. Anyways, where's Amber? The interrogation room. Where's Locke keeping her? Miss Ashworth? She's not here, Mr. Bear. What? Where? Are you lying to me? Calm down, Ted. We were here this entire time. They didn't bring her here. I don't understand this. Where did they take her? She's not here, Mr. Bear. The only person in the interrogation room right now is your bat friend. I have to. Wait, CBG's here? I'm not sure what happened, but he's been on our wanted list for some time now. Commissioner doesn't condone vigilante justice. I need to get inside and talk to him. Sam, listen. I found some stuff at King's that will clear up a lot of these things. Can I trust you with- What is it? Is it safe to talk here? Well, it is a police station, Mr. You're right. Let's wait till we're somewhere safe. You got a place in mind? I'll meet you all later at the old lookout point above the city. You know the place, Sam. I'll give you this, but promise me you'll keep it on you at all times. This thing, Sam, it goes all the way to the top. I believe in you, Ted. I'll have a glance at it when we get somewhere safe. This is the night, Sammy. It's time to take them all down. Did we just give him... Yeah, we gave him the suitcase. We gave the suitcase to Sam. Sammy. Now we have to go in and help CBG. Who seems to have got himself into a bit of trouble. Oh look, there's Betty again. Hey there, doll. Glad to see you're okay. I wish I could say the same thing. Can you, like, drop the act just this once? No. It's more fun this way. Besides, you're not getting off the hook that easy. So, they brought you in for questioning. Oh, what gave it away? Me standing in the middle of the goddamn police station getting frustrated by incompetent idiots instead of relaxing at home? I already told you, miss. It's a standard procedure. No need for name call. Oh, shut the hell up. I mean, rude. So, what happened? You've cheated on me with what's-her-face. <sighs> I meant, why are you here? I honestly don't know, Ted. I was getting ready for work when the police came knocking on my door. They brought me here and told me to wait. They dragged poor Pete here as well. He seems... he seems okay with it. I have no idea what happened, but I bet it has something to do with you. Me? Who else? You show up unexpectedly, and the next thing I know, I get arrested the following day. Um, no one's getting arrested. It's a standard procedure, miss. Yeah. See, it's a standard procedure, miss. Don't you take his side! Anyways, do you have any idea what all this is about? This idiot wasn't exactly helpful. I'll never. Just the meanest woman in the world. That cop outside told me they found CBG in the bay last night. I bet it had something to do with Red. You think CBG had a run-in with Red outside the diner? I must have missed him by, what, a couple of minutes? Dear Lord, that's terrifying! Yeah, well, stay here for now. Even though it doesn't seem like it, the police station is probably the safest place for you to be right now. Are you going after that lunatic? Something like that. I need to find the doll first. I mean, of course you lost her. That's so typical. I didn't lose her. We had a fight and we parted ways. So where is she? That's what I'm trying to find out. Listen, doll, I need to get inside that interrogation room. What for? Bee's in there. I need to talk to him. CBG? He got arrested. Something about vigilante justice and junk. Oh, what nonsense! If anything, they should pay him for doing some <laughs> actual police work around here. Right. Anyways, can you, well, keep that idiot over there busy for a while? Do I look like his supervisor? Keep him busy how, exactly? Well, you know. Wow, that's insulting in so many ways. You're really setting the bar high these days. Look, I'm not asking you to take him out to dinner. 
just keep him entertained for a couple of minutes. Well, you snoop around the police station? Exactly. Fine, but you'll owe me for this. Sure, whatever. Just make sure he's focused on you. What in the hell? You know, do your woman-y thing. I'm literally speechless. I'm having a hard time believing that. Ugh, whatever. Just make it quick. You're the best, doll. I owe you one. I hope you get shot! Hey there, honey. I'm sorry I was a bit rude earlier. Oh, well, it's understandable, miss. My, you're so handsome. Didn't notice that before. And that mustache is just, um, so great. Um, thank you, miss. It's a real mustache. Well, of course it is. You're such a dashing young man. I bet all the girls just go crazy for you. Girls? What girls? Have they said something? So, is being a cop dangerous? I bet it's all sorts of dangerous. <laughs> you must be so brave. Well, it is. I mean, it can be. Mm. The other day, they sent me to a donut shop, and on the way back, a bee flew into my mouth. Oh, my. What on earth did you do? Well, I swallowed it, but... You know, no big deal. Amazing. You must have such stories. Yeah, this one time, my friend Dave and I threw a rock at a fish, and it just flipped over like, bloop, just floated up. Wow. Go on. And this one time at band camp? Well, that's reassuring. Yeah, very. All right, buddy, I'm here. Let's do this. So, what do we have here? You better start spilling the beans, you lowlife, or this cocktail party might end early. What, what the... What? Whoa, whoa, whoa there, buddy. Who the hell are you? What do you mean? I'm the bad cop. The what? The bad cop, you know. Good cop, bad cop routine. Get into it, guy. I thought that only works in movies. And it's Officer Lawrence. What's Officer Lawrence? It's my name. Yeah, yeah. Listen, pal, are we doing this or not? I don't have all night. I guess. Wait, where's your badge? It's in the last guy who asked me that. In him? <laughs> what? All right, sweetheart. You better tell me everything you know. About what? About your pension plan. The Red Man Cupcake. You working for him? What's he paying you? What the hell are you talking about, Ted? My name's not Ted. It's Bentley Dangers. That's Officer Dangers to you, buddy. Don't know that Ted fellow, but he sounds awesome. <laughs> sure. Well, officer, as I already told your partner here, I'm not saying another word unless you tell me what I'm being charged for. Obstruction of justice, impersonating the man of the law, withholding information. That's some of the big dogs right there. You're going away for a long time, scumbag. Okay, so let's go step by step. What happened last night? After I left your place, I waved your wife goodbye from the street, and then I went home. <laughs> huh. Looks like we have a comedian on our hands. Want to hear a joke, parole? Because you can kiss that goodbye if you don't start playing ball, funny guy. So, what happened last night? Look, I was at the docks. The docks? What were you doing there? Seems to me a good friend might have told you to stay away from that place. Well... I was on my way home when I noticed Clark in the water. Clark the Stalker. Nice circle of friends you have. He's not my goddamn friend, but I couldn't just let the guy drown. Why not? It's... What do you mean, why not? Anyways, I was ready to shoot him with my grappling gun. Sure. When I heard something behind me. Was it destiny? No. It was that red-hooded freak. Hmm. What do you think, partner? Hmm. Not sure. Dangers? Okay, so, then what happened? How did you end up in the bay? Well, your wife wanted to go skinny dipping, and I hate to disappoint her, too. <laughs> oh, snap. You got served, Lawrence. You got served. Haha, <laughs> right? Shut up, you. As I said, I was about to pull Clark out of the bay when I heard someone behind me. I turned around, and there he was. He was as close to me as you two idiots. You better watch your mouth, Mary. And he was coming in hot, Bear. He was swinging left and right like like a goddamn maniac. I did a sweet backflip, and I ended up in the bed. He was just standing there, 
waiting for us to get back up. So we started swimming the other way. And that's when we found you. What happened to the other guy, that Clark fellow? He went home, I presume. Listen, I didn't do nothing. You're wasting your time and my time. Are you in a hurry? I promised your mom I would take her out dancing tonight. Oh, that's it, pal. You've done it now. Lawrence, son, go and grab us a cup of coffee from across the street. This is going to get ugly. Sure thing, Dangers. How do you take it? Give me a half and half and tell Joe to make it as Irish as possible. Irish? Yeah. You know, top of the morning to you, lad. That sort of deal. Can I get a donut? Quiet, you. Okay, what the hell, Ted? Shut up. Listen, I'm here to bust you out. Do you have anything on you that might help us? Sure, I have some stuff in my utility belt, but they took it away. It's probably in the evidence room. I'll go and check. Don't move. So funny. I would laugh, but the restraints hurt my hands when I do. So, we want to go to the evidence room. That door's not coming out of thing. This one is, so it must be this one. It's locked. Shocking. Okay, where are we going to get the key from? Maybe we can pick the lock. Oops, no. Didn't mean to do that. Not sure what you're going for here. Hmm, it's that future billionaire. Seems like Pete can't get no minute's rest either. I don't need tongs for that. CBG's utility belt must be in there. Yeah, but how do we get in there? It's locked. Shocking. Maybe go talk to Brian? Might be able to help us out. Brandon, son, I need to get inside the evidence room, somehow. I have a key, Mr. Bear, but... It's okay, son. He just needs to borrow it real quick. Ted's not a thief. You can say that again. I guess. Here you go, Mr. Bear. Just... It's okay, Chief. You'll get it back. Wow, that was easy. It's like, can I have a key to the evidence room? Well, yes, of course you can, even though you're not a policeman and... I've made a few enemies. But not going to argue. Gets us into the evidence room. It's locked. Shocking. Oh yeah, because we have to use the key. No, oh, it's a key card. Thank you, Brennan. Oh, that looks like he used to be about. Go 
Got it. I should head back. What the? I was going to have a look at some of the other stuff. There was like a Pokeball and other... Whoa. What in the hell? Well, you took your sweet time. I got antsy, so I improvised a bit. What the? You blew a hole in the police station wall. Ah, don't worry. I'll send them an anonymous contribution. <laughs> sure. B, listen. Sam and I are meeting later tonight at the old place. I stumbled onto some new information you might find interesting. I'll be there, Snoop. Watch your back, you crazy loon. Later that night. Dun dun dun. Let me guess. It took me long enough. Your word, Snoop. Rookie over there seems nervous. First time toppling the oppressive regime, kiddo. Don't worry about me, Mr. Bear. I'm here to help. And what made you switch sides so suddenly? I'm only asking because the other 99% of the police force is as crooked as it gets. I know, Mr. Bear. That's one of the main reasons I'm here with you tonight. It's... It just doesn't feel right anymore. You mean your boss following the dollar-shaped crumbs that pig is throwing him? Well, there's that, yeah. Also, I really care for Miss Ashworth. I want to help in any way I can. As you should, son. Okay, so what's going on here? I didn't sign up to be a babysitter, Ted. Sam, did you have time to go through that case I gave you? I glanced over it. It's big, Snoop. King compiled everything to put Mills away for good. I mean, there's photos of the meeting with Red, audio logs, a list of people on the take, everything. So, what's the plan? Sam, you go back to Paper Daily and do your thing. Just make sure this hits the streets by tomorrow morning. Once it's out in public, Mills is going to have the whole city after him. You got it, pal. Brian, son. You go through that list in that briefcase and gather all the cops you can find that are not on it. Get it? Yes, sir, Mr. Bear. And that leaves us. You, loon. We need to find Amber. Last I know, she was at King's Island, but Locke was there with his bulls. I don't know where they took her, but it sure wasn't the precinct. And King? He's gone to the big one, B. Just like that? We can start at the mayor's mansion and... No need for that, Bear. I know where they took her. What? How could you know that? There's something I need for you to see before we go get her, Ted. What is it? Go to the East Tunnel. The one that leads... To Flint's room. Yeah, I know. Or does it, Ted? What do you mean? Listen to me, Ted. Go and see for yourself, and then come meet me downtown. The girl will be there. How will I know where to find... Oh, god damn it. That's right, Bear. Look for the seagulls. Look at where they flock. B, god damn it, I don't have time for this. I thought you snoops were supposed to keep an open mind. I... I'm your friend, Ted, and I care for the girl. You just, you have to trust me on this one. Go through the tunnel and see where it takes you. After that, come find me at the place where the seagulls flock. If this turns out to be a wild seagull chase, B, we won't get another chance. You understand? I do, Bear. All right, I trust you. I'll go scout ahead, assess the threat level, meet me after you're done. Brian. Sir? Wow, well, he got his name right for once. Once you gather those few good men, meet us downtown. If it all goes as planned, we could get rid of that bastard Mills and the Red Man, all in the same night. So, we're really doing this, aren't we? Hate's getting to you, buddy. Good thing I can keep a cool head, yeah? Hmm. Ted? Goddamn, I need a drink. That was an odd dot to connect. Well, you said cool head, and I thought of... Ice? Yeah, ice. And how it goes well with carrot juice and... Ah, oh, so I'm guessing that's the tunnel to... Colors. The mug shop brothers are uh, toys again. Hey, low lifes, are you guys? Can you hear me? Whoa. Whoa there. What's that? Is that. Is it expanding? What's happening to the room? Why is all the stuff disappearing? How 
I need to get out of here. Interesting. I wonder what that means. The room's empty now. It's not set up like a bedroom. Some famous painter once said, when I don't have red, I use blue. What does that even mean? Is it just conventions flying out the window? Or is it a form of compromise? Until now, I thought the colors were pretty straightforward. Sun is yellow, sky is blue, and so on. But then again, I was never much of an artist. That's Amber's thing. What happens when all the colors come crashing down on you, like the world's most colorful tidal wave? I have no idea what I just witnessed. The violent, abrupt clashing of what can only be described as different realities. Ones that can't coexist in the same space. I was never a superstitious man. I value logic and reason above all things, none of which I found in there. Flint's room is not his room anymore, it's just a storage. I was there before I saw his room, didn't I? The mugshot boys, what happened to them? They seemed dead, but somehow still alive. It's like they got caught somewhere in between Paper City and the other reality. Not quite dead, but not alive either. I'm positive whatever the hell that was in there, I would suffer the same fate as those two lowlifes had I decided to stay a bit longer. I can't grasp any of this anymore. I'm missing something, a key component. How is all of this connected? What am I not seeing here? I have to get to Amber. I need to get her away from Mills before he hands her over to Red. With Locke and PCPD on his side, that won't be an easy task, though, and I have to be prepared for anything. I have to find her and tell her what I found out. Maybe she can make sense of all this. B told me to follow the seagulls, and I would find Amber. Any other day, I'd call him crazy and tell him to go home and rest, but not today. I have a bad feeling about the outcome of tonight's events, but I have no choice. I have to keep on. I have to finish this. Despite all odds. I'm done following logic, as it didn't bring me anywhere so far. It's time to sacrifice my principles at the altar of greater good and follow my gut on this one. In other words, if I don't have red, I'll use blue instead. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> And we'll leave it there for this time. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please press that like button and please subscribe. But until then, I'll see you all later.